So we're gonna start assembling the pedestals. Um, we have the two way sixes, and the two way sixes are cut at 27 inches long. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna assemble it with um, some two by four pieces that are two and a half inches long that we had cut. Uh, but first we're gonna draw, uh, put some holes in so that way I can plug it up later and cover all these screw holes that I have. Um, so this special bit that I have uh, puts a little um, indent in there, which is really nice. I can mark where my holes are gonna go at about. to it um, so we can get a recess. So I'm going to finish these two and then I'll do these two. Um, we have four on this side, four on this side for each piece. Okay, now that I have all the uh, holes drilled, I'm just going to go through and just going to drill through all the way. The reason I'm doing this so that way we don't have any splitting wood. And I'll do that for all the holes. I'll do that for all eight holes on all four pieces. Okay, now that I have all the pieces uh, drilled through, I put blocks together. It's going to be the two and a half inch pieces that we cut um, down on the two by six and the two by six on top. So what we're going to do it first is we're going to some glue on top of each block and we're just going to put this on top. First thing we're going to do is we're just going to make sure that this piece here is flush with the top two by six and then we'll take our drill bit, we'll drill through so we again can get a tight. screws and we'll just screw those pieces right in. Again, we have to make sure that everything is flush with the sides. Looks good. And these are two and three quarter inch um, construction screws. Repeat the same thing for all four sides. So what I'll do is I will complete this side, flip it over, repeat the same process, and we'll get both of the pedestal legs done. Okay, I got all both of the pedestals, center parts of pedestals, pedestals done. Uh, we're gonna make plugs for the holes here. So I gotta get eight, 16, 32 pieces out of this dowel, just a little plugs, and that's all we're gonna do. Now I got those plugs cut. I'm just gonna put a little dab of glue inside here. Cut each one of the holes. And I'll take a plug. And we're just gonna put it inside. And then later on I will come through and I will just sand it down smooth. So that way you won't even see the holes that are in there. Again, that's where I did all the screws and I screwed these parts together. Okay, now that I have the plugs in, um, I'm just going to take a belt sander really quick and just smooth over all the sides. Um, I'm going to plan on painting these legs rather than varnishing. Outside board, just a real quick smoothing. Now 
I'll do the same process with the other leg. Okay, now it's time to make the legs. What I did right now before I started is I drew four or two of pilot holes, one on each side, on the bottom, on the top. Um, I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna glue these, continue the pilot hole through into the support leg, and then we're gonna screw it together with two and three quarter inch construction screws. Uh, remember that we have got to make four of these legs. These are 21 inches here, 21 inches here, 23 and a half inches this way. Um, so we have four sets, four of these that we have to make. And remember, we also have the 20 inch one. So it's going to be the exact same setup. So we'll make four 20 inch top and bottoms, 23 and a half inch sides. And we'll make four 21 inch top and bottom, 23 and a half inch side. Um, so we did the pilot hole. I'll get the glue out, put a little bit of glue on there. A little bead. Just back up here. Make sure it's flush on the sides. And back. We'll put through a dry. Uh, continue the pilot hole through. And again, that's just so it doesn't uh, split. Take a two and three quarter inch screw. Drill that in. And again, check for flush on the outside. It's good. Drill the other pilot hole all the way through. Screw. And I will flip that around and see the end result. And I'll do the same thing on this side. And I'll do, continue this for all four legs. Okay, now that I have these U shapes finished, uh, we're going to do the inserts. And what I did is I made a little four and a half inch jig, a little bit, just a block. And it's just going to measure. Uh, um, we're taking the piece that we cut earlier. This is the one with the one angle cut. Um, and this is the longer one with the double 45 degree angle. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this opposites here. I'm gonna make it so it's flush on the end here. And we got it squared up. I'm gonna just drop draw a little pilot hole in here. this I'll just draw a little bead of glue on it. And we're gonna grab some screws out. And I'm gonna realign this up again. And this is where the jig comes in handy. So that way I can make it flush on the end here. And that way I know it's exactly where I need it. And I'll just drive the screw in and we'll finish get the power hold in that screw on. Still flush, that's good. Drill the other pile of wood And sink the other screw in. Okay. On the bottom side here, Okay, again, we have this. Bottom side here, we're going to set this one on. And when I set it at about a quarter of an inch, a little bit over a quarter of an inch, I measured it up. And it's going to be in tight right here. This one here, I'm going to actually throw a bead of glue on to this first. Because we're going to drill and we're going to put the screws right in. So we're just going to glue that up. Down. We're gonna put it at a quarter of an inch and a quarter. And we're gonna run the pedal in on an angle in this one. Take a screw in right away. Side done. We can put our frame back up on and it should fit nice and snug and everything we squared up. All the angles are correct. And from here, from here I'm not going to glue this next part out. We're just going to drill some pilot holes 
and we'll screw it right in. So on the bottom side here, I will throw in two screws. And then we'll drill two power holes on the back side here. Again, these will be on an angle. Making sure, obviously, making sure that everything is flush. And I'll sink those in so the screws are inside the wood. And then we'll do the same thing on the top here. And again, we'll make sure that it's flush. Side of one of the legs, nice and flush on all sides, no gaps. Okay, I uh, have the legs done. Obviously, here's the pedestal. Everything's upside down right now, so this right here is the bottom of the pedestal. What I did prior to this video is I drilled a pilot hole here and a pilot hole here, and I started by hand putting two screws in, obviously, because I connected the drill in. But I'm going to use the drill from here on out. Um, the leg is obviously going to be on the side of the pedestal uh, center. And I have it set up so that I will be one inch in from each side. One inch from each side. So I took a square and I'm just going to put it along the side here. So that way I can push it in and I know exactly where that one inch mark is. I'll do that on the bottom, on the bottom and the top, and then I'll double check on both sides and make sure it's squared off. So what I'm going to do is get the bottom screw in first. I'm going to make sure that it's up tight. Again, this is the top right here. This is the top on, of the pedestal, um, and I want that to be flush on top here because later on we're going to be adding a piece on the bottom in order to help level the table off. So I'm going to use my square, put it at one inch. And then I'll double check the one inch again to make sure everything's on. Okay, now I'll do the same on top here. That helps keep it a little bit more square now that I have the bottom side tight. And check for square again. That's one inch. And that's one inch. So what I will do now is I'm gonna, that's the first leg of the first pedestal. I'm gonna repeat the process, same for the other three legs. I ran into a little problem on the side piece here, opposite side. So we're looking at where we put those blocks in. And the block is not long enough for the cut. So to remedy that, what I did is I came in um, and I put in two screws on an angle from the top here. And all I'm doing is I'm just driving home and solid in. This is the finished piece. Um, it's obviously upside down yet. The last thing we'll do is we'll put spacers or risers on the bottom of each end. So that way we can balance it out with this right here, and then also so we can level it out on the four, whichever four we decide to put it on. So we're gonna put a spacer this thick, again, on the ends of the pedestal. Kind of